Master thieves who practice the long con live separate lives as civilians. They have legitimate jobs and families, which make them extremely difficult to catch. The greatest thief of all time was, without question, Gaspar Lamarck, who either died in Portugal in 1988, or in Hong Kong in 1996, or he's still alive. We may never know for certain because Lamarck was never captured or photographed, despite being active for over 50 years. Though he left behind a slew of imitators, only one is worth mentioning in the same breath as Lamarck. The thief we know only as the Night Fox, so named for the small onyx figurines he leaves behind to taunt us, the Night Fox must be considered our number one priority. His string of high-profile crimes are an embarrassment to our branch, to our entire profession. We need more than traditional resources to pursue thieves like the Night Fox. We need to train ourselves to think the way they think, to see what they see. And we should not allow ourselves to be distracted. What? to Mr. Van der Wouder. Uh, probably tomorrow. He's heavily sedated. We can't figure out how they disabled the alarm. We thought that maybe they tried to short it out somehow. No, that would have triggered the system and damaged the circuits. Well, then, then I don't know how they got in. They had the code. Someone other than the owner must have known it. On the water swear that that's impossible. He programmed the last nine steps of the system himself. He said it and never left the house again. <sighs> Closed loop, then in service, the tournament casement. It's not bad, actually. 